sometimes I don't put them together for the most arbitrary of reasons, I guess. And when I first moved to New York, I had this kind of love affair with New York subjects. This is Coney Island, and I think it was a chilly day in the early spring. Uh, we can see in the upper left-hand corner the, the uh, parachute drop. I'll zoom in in a moment. And uh, the funny reason why I never really assembled this piece was because I didn't like the time of day. I can be very picky about lighting. And I love, like, late morning and early afternoon lighting, but something about after 2 p.m., 3 p.m., somewhere in there, I just don't like the lighting. And that's, uh, I got out here a little late, I guess, to Coney Island, and that's when the uh, lighting started to turn to a way that I didn't care for. So uh, this is, this also would be a ribbon. If I put it together correctly, the, this whole section here would start down over here. Uh, and it would just be a really long piece. So I'm just laying it out this way for now and threw in both of the uh, parachute drops. We don't really need the other one. Uh, panning over to the right, we come down to the long pier where you frequently see guys fishing for uh, crabs off the dock. They use raw chicken they put in these baskets and toss it over and pull up these really green, grungy looking crabs. Uh, continue again with the dock. And we have the entire dock. Uh, the blues change, and that's largely because of the era of film. The automatic printer was your worst enemy. He would, uh, they would stick your roll of film through the machine, and it would just turn it all out, and it would make its best guesses. And it was uh, really just too expensive to custom print everything every time I did a piece like this. For now, it was good enough to have an automatic print made. And one of the uh, ideas I loved about doing collages was that you could shoot far away and the horizon actually in this picture looks nice it, now I, li I like this more than I did at the time I shot it despite the blueness of it but I liked uh, zooming in close and focusing on items things you, this is something you really can't do with an ordinary camera easily and as I have this incredible range of focus uh, these are just uh, shells and a crab leg and whatnot that have washed up on the beach you know, and so the idea, and I've done this in a number of pieces, is to be something really close up here at the bottom, and then as you pan up, it goes out to the horizon. So it's a, uh, and I've always loved the uh, looking out over a body of water. I find something kind of uh, spiritual in a way about it. And uh, I was apparently walking around a lot because this set of rocks here uh, are problematic, and I don't know if I would include them. We can even see uh, the size of this rock with moss on it changes from picture to picture, the alignment of the tips and the uh, legs of the piers change. So that makes it a bit more problematic to put the whole thing together. But there you are, it's a 1998 or so collage of Coney Island.